South Dakota's Fort Pier National Grasslands remain an American treasure. Rolling hillsides and shark grass prairie hold healthy populations of sharp-tailed grouse and prairie chicken. Out here, there's plenty of room to roam and room to camp. But beware, this bird hunting paradise can also bite back. No, 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 no! The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Peasants Forever. The Fort Pier National Grasslands sprawl across more than 115,000 acres of short grass prairie, smack dab in the center of South Dakota. This native landscape provides ideal habitat for both sharp-tailed grouse and prairie chicken. I love it, you can just go forever. Josh Bathke knows these hills like the back of his hand. He camps here each fall in his one-of-a-kind hunting rig. The man villains. More on that ride in a bit. Soaring birds have captured our full attention. Look at that bird flying right there. It's gonna go up to that hillside on the bowl that I was talking about. Pretty much everything we can see that way, we can hunt, right? Pretty much. Fort Pierce grasslands are open to the public. Josh knows the boundaries. Spark, on them up. His dog, Spark, knows the tricks to hold these flighty birds on point. Spark is a three and a half year old Gordon setter entering her prime. She's one of six Gordons that Josh calls his kids. Their personality, they're quirky. They're just a neat dog. Very loyal, very loyal. Today's forecast calls for temperatures in the 80s. They like to loaf in here. We hope to find birds quick to beat the heat. It all looks the same. This is a hunt. It's grueling. Josh and I both know that finding birds out here usually takes time. You faker. But that's the fun part, you know? They mean you're hunting a wild bird. Rattler. Big garter snake. Prairie rattlesnakes also live here. Josh has never seen one, but I'm wearing snake gaiters just in case. The thing with prairie chickens and sharp tails, they don't like the traditional pheasant cover. They like that sparse cover. That bird wanted to run. Nuts. With each point, our optimism grows. Come on. But our excitement quickly turns to terror. No, 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 no! Shit. No! 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 You okay? I saw it coil up. I heard the unmistakable noise of a rattlesnake wind up and uh, I yelled no. And uh, she got hit kind of right here. No, 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 no! Spark took a direct hit in her face. Enough to make your heart stop a bit, that's for sure. I'm not gonna chance it. Josh gave her Benadryl. Now, we race against time. <sighs> That'll make your gut churn. I wanted that hillside there hundreds of times. Never come across the snake, ever. I give the dog snake shots. From the time they're a year old, they get their first shot, and it's a booster every August. It happens so fast, and you prepare for it, you just hope you never have to have that happen. Ironically, Josh's hunting rig once again provides transportation for a medical emergency. I mean, she's gonna spend the night at the vet. With COVID restrictions in place, all we can do now is wait. It sucks. They're my family. The Flush is brought to you by 
federal premium ammunition. North Dakota Tourism. Walton's. Benelli. Ruffland Performance Kennels. And by Nutrisource. I absolutely love coming out here. It's one of my favorite spots in the entire world is right here. And now an eerie feeling surrounds this prairie. Josh waits for a call from the vet, but at this point, no news is good news. Now it's that, ah, do I want to go? And it's like, yeah, I do. And then you're, you know, it's going to be kind of a while before I don't think about it again. No, 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 no. We contemplate pulling the plug, but that doesn't feel right either. What do you think, sir? We need to shoot some birds to recover from this morning. Spark sister Sage leads us reluctantly back into the field. It'll forever be uh, something that sticks in my mind. Like Josh, I can't help but analyze every step. It's a bird. Fortunately, the birds snap us right back to the game. Come up, Sager. Right there. Hubby. <sighs> we just need one sucker. Just need a couple to stay. I call three miles out here, three miles a bird. Unreal. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. Of that hill. Are you kidding me? It's that point where you're at total exhaustion and you're miserable and you're thinking this is crazy. Why would anybody want to hunt these? The dog points a covey and you shoot a bird or two and it just gets you juiced. A juvenile prairie chicken. We got one. We got one. It's a bittersweet bird right there. Our bitter day ends with a taste of sweetness. And you get to the point like on a hot day where you're like, this is stupid. Why are we out here? And then the dog holds a point, the covey gets up, and you're like, yep, that's why. It's just perfect. Kind of highs and lows there quite a bit, huh? Back at camp, we watch the sun disappear over the horizon and wake to a prairie hidden beneath a layer of fog. These are the moments we cherish, spending time with hunting partners we love the most. This is the boss, Trump. I told you, even at being a 13-year-old dog, he still has the mental drive. It's just the physical doesn't last nearly as long. Trump waits with excitement, completely unaware that this hunting season will likely be his last. And he's 13 and a half, and uh, we've had great trips. I mean, I cry every time. It... <laughs> you know, when you're at the end, it's tough with a dog. Slowly, we follow the weathered nose of a 13-year-old bird hunting warrior. Trump's a golden setter named after Josh's favorite card game, Euchre. Where that dog goes, we follow. Seeing him slow down is the hardest part. He's still sharp, it's just, you can see it in his front and back end that the wheels aren't there. And yet, Trump leads us right to the birds. There you go. Nice shot, Travis. That a boy, buddy. Dead bird. Good boy. Good boy. How'd you get some feathers? Did you get some feathers? Huh? Huh? It was fun to see him act like a puppy there for a minute. If I had advice to give to anybody with an old dog, or any dog, just slow down. 
take it in just a little bit more. I would have got the look there if I would have missed both times. Did you find him? Can you still find the birds, huh? Huh? Good boy. Take those mental pictures. Don't take it for granted. I want to get a picture of you and Trump holding that bird up. Absolutely. So you always have it. The nose is still pretty the good. The nose is still there, and the want is still there. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, thanks. He does a really nice job of setting the wind. That's what made him what he is. Just high nose, just always just running big with his head up. Perfect. Hey, it's a big one. That it's is it's a not a. Bird. It's not a young of the year. That was ultra. He, he laser eyed it. <laughs> Halfway to our limits. Oh. Hopefully that's uh -oh. the vet. Okay. Josh gets the call he's been waiting for. This is Josh. How's she doing? Awesome. That's fantastic. Thank you, ma'am. This prairie chicken hunt just keeps Thank looking you. up. Good news. Well, just like at home, she was getting up on the counter looking for food, so if you know dogs, when they have an appetite, that's good, so. It's uh, a new day, and it's a good day. Yeah. A lot better feeling at this point today than yesterday, that's for sure. Still to come, Trump leads us to picture-perfect points. There goes one. Plus, we take a peek inside Josh's mambulance and bring this bird hunt full circle. The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism, Big Timber Fasteners, Thoroughgood Boots, Sage and Breaker, Truxedo, and by Aluma Trailers. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Plan your journey at NorthDakotaLegendary.com. Oh, right there. How you feeling? I'm a lot better than yesterday. Right, <laughs> right. Things are really looking yeah. up. Josh Bathke's Gordon Setter Trump has 13 years of experience hunting on the Fort Pier National Grasslands. He might be nearing the end of his run, but today, there goes one. he hunts like he's in his prime. If that doesn't get the juices flowing, I don't know what does, huh? He did good, bud. That dog was working him so perfectly, too. What a difference a day makes. They're holding so tight. Greater prairie chicken are native to this short grass landscape. They're cubby birds that tend to spook easily, but today's light winds have them holding tight. Nice job. That bird right there makes our South Dakota limit. <laughs> Done D. There's another one. <laughs> that is a big one. Holy cow. Do you have fun, boss? He's not quitting yet. He, he doesn't care that we have our limit. No. He doesn't care that the guns are open. He ready, no, he's he ready just, to find some more. He's like, you know, I don't get to do this a whole lot anymore. That's an open gun walk for a mile and a half back to the truck. Fun bird to hunt. You know, it's what I'm passionate about. Passionate enough to turn an old ambulance into a bird camp on wheels. This is my ambulance. Enter if you dare. It's got a guard dog. Trump, come on, buddy. Hey. I got the ambulance when I decided I needed more than one dog on a trip. I really couldn't find a camper that I liked, and this happened, and I went, why would I not want an ambulance? I've got three bays for the dogs. This is going to be eventful, so be careful as we open it up. They're probably going to come piling out. So I've got a futon. That's normally where I sleep. I've got my fridge to keep my food cold. 
On top of the dog box in the corner, there is another bed and then just a set of dressers. Small TV to watch a movie or two at night. I put the birds in the freezer. Uh, you can get 15 grouse in there. This is my seventh year with it now. And we've gone all the way to New Mexico, been to the Tetons in Wyoming. I think between everything, I probably have all seven, eight grand in it. I mean, not a huge investment, but I mean, yeah, it's just kind of fun. Not to mention practical. After an ambulance ride back from the vet, Spark finally rejoins our team. This one-of-a-kind bird camp once again feels complete, just in time for dinner. All right, my man, tonight we're doing upland game bird wraps. It's my favorite recipe. I can't wait to share it with you. Is that fresh? Yeah, today. Nice, flat piece of meat. Everybody's favorite bacon. And I'm gonna season it. Big old dog cream cheese right there. So pull that in really tight. There we go, there's one. In wide open spaces. When at grouse camp, our bird hunt comes full circle. Eating wild birds on the open prairie just tastes better. Better than I deserve. This experience is why we come. I come here to get away from everybody. I mean, look at this, man. Why do you not want to be out here? Tomorrow, we take our final walk on Fort Pierce, pristine prairie. Pheasants Forever remains committed to protecting and restoring America's wildlife habitat. Join Pheasants Forever today and your $35 membership will help us to create healthy habitat, cleaner water, and abundant wildlife. Your investment will make a difference today that will last forever. There comes a point in every hunting trip when you realize it will soon be over. On our final morning at camp, we take time to cherish the views. Jim Mackey drove through the night all the way from Texas to watch Josh's dogs hunt birds on Fort Piers wide open spaces. Josh and I have a uh, mutual love of bird dogs. Thankfully, Josh's six pack of Gordon Setters are now back intact. All right, so with the wind blowing from the north, we can just work this whole area all the way up. Jim has fresh legs and we have experience, but like every hunt, this one carries plenty of unknowns. Somebody had some success right here. This is where we got into all kinds of birds yesterday morning, but we kind of think that they're still out in the grain fields, and now we just want to wait a little bit. Like clockwork. Way on the horizon. The birds return. Gosh, 30. <laughs> Look at Jim, just taking it in. I love the quietness of being out here by ourselves, away from the city, chasing bird dogs across the grass. Where are they going? That was a nice size cubby. Let the games begin, huh? There goes one. Right ahead of us. Oh, there they go. Oh, no. 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 One more. Come on. Josh breaks the ice. Oh, there it goes. Followed by Jim. <laughs> Hey, welcome hey. to the prairie. The first one is now the pressure's off, right? Uh, it felt great. It was the first one of the season and, you know, got it down the first shot, you know, which doesn't always happen. Hunting wild birds, we appreciate every victory. I saw this covey come over this hill up in this direction. 
could have kept going, but they might have landed right up here. The further we walk, the more I respect these native birds. There goes a the bird. After all, they were here first. Oh, there they go. Look at fighting to survive on a prairie with wild critters Dang. and big sky winds. We're about due. These birds are getting up hundreds of yards ahead of us. They're spooky in the wind, which makes it that much more difficult. Patience, persistence. If you want to be a grouse hunter, you can't give up. You got to walk that next ridge. The next ridge just might hold our reward. Oh, right there. But that's never a guarantee. Oh, oh, right there. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. She was right on that bird. They're winning today. Oh, no. Wow. That's incredible. Hunting for sharp-tailed grouse and prairie chickens, I've learned two very important lessons. Most birds escape, and a straggler almost always hangs back. Right there. Got one. Good job, Sage. Look at that. There was a lot of birds that just got up. Why didn't you leave with your buddies? You'd have been safe. That's what we needed right there. <laughs> he said, let's just go over that one more ridge. One more ridge. One more ridge. <laughs> And on a high note, and on a high note, I love it. It's a good day on the prairie. A good day on a prairie that's open to the public with plenty of room to roam and room to camp. Creating memories with hunting dogs and hunting buddies, chasing wild birds in places where wild critters can sometimes bite back.